Hey Facebookers, it's your boy DJ Nigel Snipe once more and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to record your voice using the microphone and also recording music through the record input at the same time. First thing you need to do is ensure to open the record dialog up here as you can see right there um, I have the record open and I have FX um, also highlighted. Down here, if you look, you see mic, you see record location. Um, okay. Now, let me ensure that you can you see what's going on here. I should click on this. That's the mic. So I want the mic also to be used so the mic is active, okay? The record location, remember, in order to, it needs to record somewhere. Me, I don't like to record on my computer. So I rather record and, and set the location to be the hard drive. So you click on record location and this box appear. When this box appear, you know what you do from there. You choose wherever you want the songs to be stored, okay? Now, the microphone. My microphone is already uh, plugged in and activated. Check. Check. And as you can see, it, it comes um, through there. Want to. With all my delay and my effect, because I love a beautiful microphone. Okay? So... Um, <clears throat> with that saying, when you say, let me record something first. Let me go ahead, start the record. Say I start recording. Microphone check one, two, three. One, two, three. Yes, microphone check one. Okay, so now I've recorded something. All right. Let's go ahead and stop. Stop. Now, now that we stop, we need to name the file. Um, if we do not name the file, we won't remember what it is or anything, but you'd say so you need to name it. So let's name this file. Uh, let's see now, N O W. So I named this file now save right away. A lot of things occur on your screen. You know what happened on your screen automatically. Serato realized that you just recorded something and is saving your file. Your file is also being saved in this Serato. So, and it's also been saving record. So if you did not create this file record, Serato will create it for you automatically. Just to all your recordings. So now, these are all the recordings. Whatever I test, whatever I just I did, the one I just did is now. As you can see, it's right there. Today's date, the time, and now. So when I click on that, I can put it in the on the deck right now. Then I can go ahead and go ahead right here and play it. Look. Listen. Microphone check one, two, three. Yes, microphone check one. Okay, so now I've recorded something. All right. So that's the same way you can record the songs. You record the songs and you record your voice. Note now, this is very important and pay attention to this. The DDJ SX3, um, it carries two computer hookup that's one of the main reason why a lot of people get this ddj but you have to understand that you might be home playing with both your computers and then you decide to go on the road and start a party having only the the b line plug into your computer it will work but when you adding another computer to their system like someone brought the big to bring their laptop to you it's best if you change it over from the b 
to the A. All it ensure that the master computer is in A. Why? I've tested this out and I've proven it and I see that it has a problem. When the master computer is in B, all the preset settings that you've set for your delay for your microphone um, and your recording, all those are not, they, they give trouble. Period. I'm just telling you straight up. They give trouble. So do not make your master computer um, be in the B line. Make your master computer in the A line at all times because you want all these effects and these things to stay tuned. So any other computer come and hook up and goes in the B line, they don't change your settings, your master settings. The, the settings stay to the master computer. So always remember, have the master computer in A. So when you go out and a friend come and say, hey, I have my laptop, you say, okay, plug in your laptop. You can record any amount of sessions you want. Even if someone comes with another mixer, whether it's like yours or another external, all you have to do is just line them in. It's, it's, it's right off here. These two are, are for line, line four for this line so i set it up like this it doesn't look like this i put these for easy access but they're in this line and with them being in this line then you know you go here you set it to what you want whether you want it to a or b or through so once you set it up and they are playing from their mixer into this you can monitor it and it still comes into your recording you record the whole entire show you and it's on it's on your hard drive or wherever you set the location to be it's recorded there now there's one more thing for the microphone that i didn't show in the previous video that i had was the difference between these two bars here this one these means that whatever when you go here let's go there when you go here Okay, I'm trying to use the phone at the same time. When you go here and you go in the FX, okay, it means that these, all these over here, they are preset. But these, you can fine tune these, these, these to, if you're a whole school DJ and you know how to use your whole school uh, digital um, delay system, the analog delay system, these give you a more feelings of that. I'm going to show you. Let's get out of this. But remember, these, the one with the one stem beside them. And if you notice over this side that I had it, only three with the one stem beside them. And these have the three dots. These have one dots. Okay, so let's go back to the main page now. Um, if you look at, let me click on the one dot here. One dot. If you realize inside here, I only have three of these. And look at these type of features that I have right here. That I can fine tune them here. So if my echo, when I when I set up my echo, and the and I say something, and the second sound of the echo sound equal to my voice, I can I can fix it right here. I can fix the, the loop. I can fix the feedback. I can I can do you know these these man trust me it's endless right here and as an old school dj you will understand what i'm talking about so now let's when we go back into the main screen of it the main screen of it let's go to the main screen it's right here so now we still have this the reverb we still have this volume for it so you can you can tweak around have fun with it. Remember your beat match to make it longer or shorter. And this one gives you, it gives you some more fine tuning again. So for your microphone, you have a lot of different type of tuning. Um, this tutorial was to show you how to record with the microphone in and the location where you're going to record it. And automatically the the decks 
already here. So once you're playing something, you can go ahead and check it once the, 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 the bar moves and you're good. You know it's gonna record. Once this bar lights up, it's gonna record. The microphone, check, it's gonna record. Understand me? And then remember, you don't want the, the, the volume too loud. So you, I keep it halfway. And with this, I can record an artist and it sounds like it comes from a studio. Um, <clears throat> these microphones that I use, they are some, this is my, this is how my mixer look. That's my, my microphone thing. I, you know, I set it up myself, but this microphone, there are some, I don't even remember that. I bought these microphones like about six years ago. Uh, man, they work wonders, you know, and they are beautiful. They give beautiful sound. Everyone that use them, they just love it. I have new microphones, but why using your new microphones to get them damaged when these are still rocking this this the the show? So, um, I hope these help you out, guys, as to how to record in the Serato, um, recording the microphone with your mixes, and also to record with line in with other mixers that attach to your system and to remember that your computer should be the master computer in the master line or else your preset that you have here won't work correctly hope this video helped you guys out please don't forget to share and like it's your boy Nigel Snipe with one more tutorial and please check out my next tutorial on the, oh my gosh, the high rig. I have an high rig that um, I made a tutorial out for, which is this. What this bad boy does is um, it's a lining for when you're doing YouTube live or Facebook live. You use this to cut down the frequency. So whatever sounds goes in the phone that you're using to make your live video. If you're doing your live mixes on YouTube um, to come out beautiful and sound like it's a CD that they're listening to on the other end of their phone. So hope this video helped you guys out. Um, leave your comments and don't forget to share and like and give me a thumbs up. Thanks for being a loyal follower. Okay, bye bye.